I'm Norm Poltonson, the publisher of the Business Journal, and I'd like to share an editorial I recently wrote for the Business Journal, which I entitled, The Public is the Problem. If we go back to October 16th, everybody cheered when President Obama signed what we euphemistically call the reopening of the government, and it ended what was uh, viewed as a crisis in our country. The media couldn't write enough about this. They were on it 24-7. The problem is they missed the real story. Because on an op October 18th, just two days later, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the Treasury Department officially declared that we now owed, meaning the federal government, $17 trillion plus. $17 trillion means that every American citizen, man, woman, and child, is now uh, in debt for about $54,000. It also means that the government continues to borrow 40 cents on every dollar. And that means we borrow $200 million an hour. Get your arms around that idea. Let's look at the tra trajectory. I love history. It took us 193 years to get to a trillion dollars in debt. It took eight more years, that brought us up to 1990, when we hit the $3 trillion mark. By the time GW, as in Bush, became President of the United States in 2001, we were at $5.7 trillion, and he ballooned it to $10 trillion. Not to be outdone, President Obama has gone from $10 billion to $17 billion. He's on track to end his eight years of tenure at the $20 trillion mark, which means he will have doubled the debt under his administration. Ladies and gentlemen, we call these entitlements. That's what's driving the debt. Entitlements is a lovely word and it represents 63% of the whole budget. And I think uh, there was a gentleman named Samuelson who wrote an article recently in the Washington Post about the fact that we ought to get rid of the word entitlement. And the reason is it doesn't describe a program. It's just sort of this vague idea. It doesn't look specifically at Social Security or Medicare or Medicaid or dozens of other programs in which millions of Americans are recipients. The problem with the word is not only that we don't examine real problems or real programs to evaluate them, the problem is that we think it's untouchable because the word entitled means I'm entitled to it. I paid into it or I'm supposed to get it no matter what. In other words, we think it's untouchable. Unfortunately, the Supreme Court told us it wasn't untouchable back in 1937. And it was the first time they dealt with a case in, in the Social Security and they said, Social Security is a tax. And to tax in order to offer welfare benefits. In 1960, they reaffirmed the same idea that you have no property rights to your Social Security. This concept applies to everything that Congress has inaugurated because at a whim, Congress can change Social Security, they can change Medicare, they can change Medicaid, and every other program that they have instituted. But entitlements continues to drive a problem. And the real problem is, the polls keep telling us, that the overwhelming majority of our citizens don't want to pay more taxes. The same citizens, by a 90% rate, don't want you to touch their benefits. So here we live in this bipolar situation where we want two conflicting things and we're not willing to budge. I think the answer is clearly for Americans to look into the mirror because we're the problem. And nothing will change in Washington until the public decides what it really wants. Think about that. I'm Norm Poltonson. Thanks for listening.